Pesach, a sweet Passover. But to make sure it is a good holiday, we have to ensure that people are protected. So I want all 8.6 million New Yorkers to understand this is all of our business to protect each other and to stop this outbreak. Vaccine. I want everybody to understand fully, as the mayor has already said, measles can be a very serious illness and it can even be fatal. But measles is also preventable. It is <coughs> preventable. We can eliminate this disease. To keep your family, your neighbors, and your city healthy, I repeat, get the measles vaccine. Thank you to so many healthcare providers and community members who have already responded. Since October, 8,000 additional vaccinations have been administered in Borough Park and Williamsburg alone, compared to the same period last year. We have also received reports that there are people <coughs> attending so-called measles parties bringing children together to purposely get exposed to measles. As a parent, I have no doubt that each and every parent is making decisions based out of what they believe is best for their children. But as a doctor, a public health practitioner, and a mom, I must warn you that exposing your unvaccinated child to measles is very dangerous, and it could even be deadly. We urge everyone to avoid this practice. This is a public health emergency. We have already seen over 280 people infected, including people who've been hospitalized, people who've had to be admitted to the intensive care unit due to serious complications. Thank goodness we haven't seen a death yet. Please help us keep it that way. If you haven't already, Get the measles vaccine. We had the big, one of the biggest Mamadis, the Rambam. He made a whole cipher. You should be healthy. How you should eat. In the Gemara, you have a lot of knowledge how somebody should be healthy. So I'm talking with Dr. Adler. So you heard the press conference. What do you want to tell the community as a doctor? That the Abishter is Makdim Rafula Maka. That's the Yiddish Neskafa. Vaccination is part of that discussion. Okay. Is there anything that could be done to alleviate the concern from the so-called anti-vaxxers? I think there are programs to train providers to deal with this in a mass basis. It's more efficient than speaking to one parent for an hour. Hopefully we'll be able to get to the city to see if we can advance that. Now, why do you think uh, parents are still not vaccinating? Some of them are influenced by the hardcore anti-vaxxers, which to some extent is funded by people who practice other types of medicine, even if it's useless, but they're making money. There's a monetary incentive for the originators of this. Okay, now do you know the percentage of people that are not vaccinated in New York City? No. Now, does the city know what type of strain the measles is? Because it's different type of strains, right? Usually it's still the same wild virus, one type that, that's been in the past. If you're not vaccinating, it's going to keep coming. Um, when you're talking about strains, it's interesting. When there was a Disneyland outbreak, remember Disney outbreak? It used to be thought at that time that brain damage, brain swelling from the vaccine was maybe one in a million, one in two million, and from the disease, one, one in 10,000. They did studies in California, and they found that the very young who got measles, the incidence of encephalopathy was actually one in 600. And one case that they thought was related to the vaccine, they molecularly typed, and found out that this vaccinated child had brain damage not from the vaccine virus, but from the wild virus. So it's even more dangerous than people accept, and I think we'll have to keep up to date with these. So are you saying that it, people are safer by having the shot versus getting the measles on their own? Because you're saying Absolutely. if someone gets measles on their own, they could suffer 10 years later with brain damage? Right. But why is that, and with a shot, not the, the case? The shot was theoretic. I think the most recent study out of California shows that the damage that was put to the shot was really from a wild virus 
Remember, the vaccine doesn't work 100%, so even though you're vaccinated, you can still get wild-type measles, and they can still damage you. Is, but is it as dangerous if someone who had the shot and gets the measles again later in life, or it's not as bad? Say that again. If, if someone had, had the, the shot, vac the, the vaccine, supposedly years the disease, ago, and then they get it again. Supposedly, if you still have any level of immunity, the disease is less dangerous, less dangerous. and less contagious. Thank you. One, get me a copy of the study. It's not what I'm saying. I didn't say it in here, but I'm telling you, your read on it. Let me look, do our own research and see. I mentioned inside earlier when we were speaking, in order for the, for the vaccines to be effective, it has to be like a 96 percentile, uh, whatever, or something like that, something a high like percentage. That, right. Why is that? It's very simple. I have a gun. I only get 3% of the target on target practice. I'm very bad. But the more shots I give, the more I'll hit a target over hundreds of times. If you're exposed at a distance to someone who has measles, but you're not protected. If it's a casual exposure and maybe it wasn't enough, it wasn't intense enough, even though you're not immune, because even the, you won't get sick. If you're non-stop exposed, you're probably going to get sick. But it sounds confusing to the public because the argument will be, if I'm driving a car, your car doesn't work, so my car's not no, going to no, work because no, your car doesn't no, work. We have to be in the same car. <laughs> well, yeah. not everyone drives in the same car. All right, but the, <laughs> anyway, just because your car or my yeah, car doesn't work, just because my car doesn't work, if your car, which does work, hits my car barely, you don't even see a scratch, it's not damaged. If you have enough of an impact or multiple impacts, you're going to be more damaged, right? So basically what you're saying, there is no guarantee that the shots no, are even effective. No, absolutely not. In Detroit outbreak, in the Yiddish community, they used to think that if you're born before 1957, you always had measles, and you're immune. Six people in the Detroit outbreak are born before 1957, and they're sick. There's a Rebbe who's sick. He had two measles shots. He shows his vaccine. It's now 20 odd years later. He has measles. There's a question if the immunity wears off also. With mumps, in Curious Yoel, which I hold as a paradigm, I hold very much in Curious Yoel, they give three MMRs because the mumps vaccine only works 60-something percent. When you boost that to three, you have more protection. Just like with measles, you go from 93 to 97, I'm presuming with mumps. Now, it, now, inside the Department of Health and Mayor de Blasio are coming saying it's safe, it's safe. The anti-vacciners are saying we don't want to take it because there's no guarantee that the shots itself are not causing deaths. They okay. say they have statistics All I can say, to show okay. that the shots are we're, causing we're deaths. We're talking from... Yeah. We pediatricians have to give din v'cheshman after 120 or 150 or 180. All of us, including those of us that have been in practice over 30 years, have not seen any of this. Maybe we daven with each vaccine and maybe that's enough. I don't see what they see. But can the shots cause... Death? Any, not that I see. Th not that I see. Saw the statistics made up. They're saying it's fact, not opinion. They say they have studies. Their studies are fake. Okay, let me let me just go one more and we'll see. Peach is the organization that's the biggest rabble rouser in this. They sent out stuff many many years ago. They quoted a doctor from Chicago with a Jewish name, and I looked him up. Let me see because this doctor calls us Nazis for giving shots. This is the extreme anti, right? Extreme. So I checked him up. I found out he used to have an agency that did home deliveries, home births. The studies came out now that if you have a baby at home, you're three times as likely to have a bad outcome. Why? Because they don't have anything to save the kid. And we know that's not 100% safe. He's been sued for bad outcomes. His wife owns a national products company. Autistic kids is one of the big bugaboos. He's been giving hormonal therapy that cost $60,000 to these autistic kids without any benefit except to his pocket. If you start tracking down, we're not, again, again, we're not giving HPV vaccine unless someone's going to call Okay, again, we're talking about what we give the Yiddish community as a rule. We don't see a problem. All I see is every... Why? Because One if you're in a car accident, if you're in a car accident, and we know about that, and you get a blood transfusion because you're badly damaged, the test for hepatitis B virus in the blood is not perfect. If someone is just starting with it and has a very small amount of virus, it's not picked up. 
that person's blood can transmit hepatitis B to that so person that's in the presence. Or that yeah. yeah. because we don't see a problem with, but we know there's toxicities. Don't tell me. Five days, five days. We give it at six weeks. We don't give it at newborns. We haven't seen a problem. If you want, they let the doctors give it at six weeks. It's more effective at six weeks than one day, by the way. I will give a vaccine if you bring me double blinded placebo study. Okay. It's very nice to say those things. It's very nice to say those things, but I'm telling you, all the people, without exception, I've looked at, who are pushing this agenda, who have the typical doctor, look up what they do, look up how much money they charge, look up what they do, you're going to run the other uh, way. Somebody once told me, follow the money. What? Dr. Adler. Uh, you know, Dr. Adler. Somebody once told me a very smart line. He says, when you want to know the truth, follow the money. I followed the money and I got to the pharmaceuticals. That's where it ends. Okay, to me, pharmaceutical is the ones that make drugs. Well, we don't the use the drugs. So who, but again, but the vaccine is a different industry in a sense. Why, who, who, why is it different? Who's, who's making it? Merck? Because vaccines are not, it's not quite the same. The it's just not quite the same. Why is it I have a different same? question. 2011, yeah. um, the Supreme Court ruled that the vaccines are on the board of Beyonce, right? We have to rule the vaccine. Okay, I'm going to tell you again. We're not here to argue I'm going to tell you again. I'm traveling to a dim Cheshwin after 120 years. I have, and then let me finish. I have not seen a problem. I'm as busy a pediatrician as anybody. I speak to other pediatricians who are also going to have to give an dim Cheshwin. We don't have a problem with the vaccines as a rule. I'll, but let me give a caveat. Let me give a caveat and I'll tell you a little bit more. Talking about the pharmaceutical industry that you're so worried about. If my vaccines would be made in China, I would probably be giving no vaccines. Let me go beyond that. Let me go beyond that. There's antibiotics that we have to sometimes give and to give antibiotics. One is ceftriaxone. Some of the pharmacies get it from China and some other countries. We look up those antibiotics made in these countries with no standards can kill you. So, no, 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 I'm just going to finish. I do care enough that I'm not going to do what I know is unsafe. That means I may not give vaccines if it's all made in China. So okay. Uh, what? I, 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 I want to ask you something. She keeps on saying that you know you're the doctor. You're gonna have to give them this and that. Yeah, I will. Right, but we are mothers, and Hashem entrusted the kids into us. Right? Again, I'm One gonna tell you mothers, again. Let me look up the people well, who are saying these things. Me? I'll let you. Okay, so the kids were entrusted with me. Okay, so I'm telling you right now, no, no, I just want to answer. The research you're doing is it's based on CDC. fake people. Is I researched from the CDC. I'll show you my papers. I, I printed out the studies uh, from the Holy CDC. One question. When yeah. you give a vaccine for a child, yeah. you should get it for the mother before you have the baby. We tell them what the side effects are that we see. Do you read through the entire incident? Uh, no, because we've never seen that. That's a legal document by lawyers. I'll say it again. LAW, the lawyers that set this up. LAW, Adawaiyar becomes lawyers. I have not seen it. Look, all I can tell you, maybe because I doubt it. That's a story of a lie. I'll let you talk. I'll let you talk. I'll let you talk. I've never seen anything because we have doctors that say they do. They have seen something. And also, I want to tell you one second, one second. So it's like a little bit like if I close my eyes. Do I see that? Is Dr. Adler still here? He's still here, but I don't see him, right? Because I close my eyes. I feel like the doctor says it's very powerful. Yeah, it's very powerful. They close their eyes. They don't see anything because they don't want to see. You okay. call a doctor if three you days want after the vaccine. One second, let me finish. Yeah. You call a doctor and you say, you know, my child has, it has nothing to do with the vaccine. Obviously. Either it's coincidence or it's, they always have an excuse. So if you don't look for it, you don't see because okay. that's just the, the way DPT it works. The DPT vaccine, before it became cellular, did have 105s. Kids did have febrile seizures. There are doctors, some of them very popular, who even though recommendation was not to give another dose of DPT because the reaction was so bad, gave it anyway, and they had full practices. I don't have to agree with everything doctors do. You don't have to agree at all with doctors say, but I'm just saying that we do care. We have reactions instead of the 101. One kid has 103 for a day, fine. But let, me, wait, let, let, me go, let me go to the other end. I gave a chicken pox vaccine. I tell people there's no reaction. Good. Mother trust me. Not like you people. The mother I trust, trust me. My doctor. Oh, the mother yeah. trust me. I trust my she doctor. calls me. After two, three days, the kid has a fever. She says, it doesn't make sense. Let's see what the kid has. This is a young kid, 12 month old. The kid had a urine infection. 
So when we say it's not related, without checking, we can't well, tell you that. The plural well, of anecdote is not a, is That's not an anecdote. That's a, that's a fact. Anecdote. Get a urine infection. This kids one, have been I know a pediatrician. I know a pediatrician that boasted. In my practice, I've never seen a reaction to a vaccine. Well, lo and behold, I have a friend. I didn't say no reaction. I said I was not suicidal. 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 I told you that DPT can cause febrile seizures and you worry about more. So I'm just telling you, so those are real reactions. Not every doctor will not give. We're talking about safety. We're talking about a more religious exemption. How can you take away my religion? First of all, it has nothing to do with Yiddishkeit. It does not. It does not. It's your philosophical thing. The Yiddishkeit is mocked in Rafu Lamako. Right. That's Yiddish Hashkafa. Every place that my brother do want to go to, we'll agree with you. If you don't vaccinate your kids, if you have school age children, they're not allowed to go to yeshiva until they're vaccinated. What are you going to do? My children are more precious to me than all the money in the world. I will keep them home if that's what is needed. Absolutely. So no matter what, you're not going to no vaccinate? Matter what. No matter what. No matter what. And what about the fines that they're going to be levied? They, uh, the, unless we get studies that show double blind placebo study that proved to us that the vaccines are 1,000% safe to inject in my precious children. Otherwise, I will not vaccinate. If you bring me those studies, I'll reconsider. Vaccines are wonderful, but the, the studies are not there. And we want the studies to be there. But you're talking about a medical thing as opposed to a religious thing. How does this no. relate to your religion? It is uh, uh, Our religion talks a lot about um, taking care of our bodies and about medical procedures and all that. And as far as I spoke to my um, spiritual guide, and he uh, he told me, and this is something I've looked into our our books and our our you know our our, you know, our written works, and I've seen that something that is medical things are very very important as a as a, a healing tool, but as a prevention. If my child is perfectly healthy, and I want to prevent something, which as a by the way, some of these diseases are like chicken pox. Oh my goodness, my kids have chicken pox. They're perfectly fine. So if they force me to inject something into my child's body as a preventative measure that is completely ridiculous and unethical. Do you understand and your children can die from measles? My children had measles. They are perfect, <laughs> running around, beautiful. They, they are growing, are thriving. They are wonderful. My kids had measles three months ago. They are the most healthy, beautiful, delicious, wonderful. I, I could go on and on and How on. How many kids do you have? I have three kids, ages five, three, and almost two. And you're, All of them. I'm sorry, you're saying you wouldn't get vaccinated and you don't think the city should be able to force anyone no, to get absolutely. vaccinated? Yeah. I think that it should be whoever feels that vaccination is the right thing for them, go ahead and vaccinate. Wonderful. They are wonderful parents. Mm -hmm. I am a wonderful parent too if I decide that it is against my personal religious belief and against what I believe is safe for my children. But the Talmud doesn't prevent it. The rabbis all say they recommend the vaccination. Well, my rabbi said otherwise, and I will not name him. What What's is your name, ma'am? What's for saying no to vaccinations? Oh, I could go on and on and on. I don't know if I have all the time. Just like I said now, that preventative measures are not a reason to inject toxins into my child's body. But it's been determined medically that it's safe. It's not toxins. Well, measles is safe, too. My kids had it, but I'm perfectly fine with them getting measles. Can I get your name, please? I, no, I'd like You're to stay your first name. Mm -hmm. Esther. Esther. Are Esther, you willing to are you? Uh, pay a one? Are you willing to pay a one thousand dollar fine? Again, repeat. If it's needed, I'll find the money to keep my children safe. Yes. Oh, I have a question. Is is the fine for just not vaccinating or for sending to school during an outbreak? Not vaccinating. Well, it wasn't we in, in the United States in, in New York yeah. City? New York State, we have religious exemptions. So how does that work? There's a there's a, a public health emergency right now. It was just so, declared so it, during the emergency. Once it's over, it's over, right? I don't know that. Oh, it's a good question. I have and and is it just for the MMR or for the other vaccines? Like is it it a mayor? A mayor cannot make a law. It's only during a public. Um, I guess only. I'm not a lawyer, but only during a public emergency, right? You cannot just make a law. No religious exemption. Whether it's you know, you got to go to Albany for that. 
He's not saying no religious exemptions. What he's saying is that right now well, the public health emergency so, so she's, so she's oversees talk, Right, so she's talking about religious exemption getting a fine. It's no, 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 not religious exemption. I'm just talking about if not the child vaccinated is not vaccinated yeah. with the MMR, MMR or with any vaccine. MMR. So my kids have measles. So my child had the measles, but they're not vaccinated for the mumps or rubella portion of the vaccine. Of the, yeah, where does that You can then, prove they're immune if they're records from your doctor's office. The school has my records, of course. So that's fine. But I just want to talk about the religious exemption is that, you know, we have religious, oh, yeah, yeah. personal religious beliefs. And that's, you know, that's the, that's the New York State law. It's a personal religious belief. And now, I, I'm not even talking about the safety of vaccine that, or the efficacy of vaccine. That's not even that. But we're talking about the idea that God created all human perfectly. And the whole idea of the vaccine um, um, program is to actually take all kids that God created and to inject them Tamper with something. Their immunity. Yeah, to get their immunity. To, you know, it's like saying that God didn't create a perfect design. In my belief, God has created a perfect design. My kids are more perfect, beautiful, and healthy. My kids will just keep that as pure as And what about polio? What if polio comes back? Will you not vaccinate? I have nothing to say. I, 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 I have it's, it's my religion. No, it's my religion. I'm not, even, I'm not talking about even that. It's my religious belief. I, I will never put something into my child. Um, to actually alter their immune system. With a this potential is, yeah, danger. This is, you know, when I have a perfect, a child is not well, you can go to the doctor and heal the child and do what you have to do. We have, I, I, don't, I haven't seen anywhere that we got permission to go and do preventative measures for that. So you're saying all because the rabbis the, who are recommending vaccinations are wrong? Um, according to my religion, no, can I yes. answer? It's not, it's, they're not no, wrong. They they're not, not wrong. wrong. They have they their, are, and I was saying that the, the Jewish religion is more So it's not like one size fits all. You all, everyone, this is my personal religious belief. Actually, I have my rabbi backing it. But people know this is my, I read the way I, I look at it and the way I read it. This is my personal religious belief. The rabbis are recommending that we have heard one side only. Why? Because when we go to talk to them, we are silent. We are pushed out of the But even a saying in Talmud, there's a saying, a doctor which doesn't take any money is not a doctor. A doctor for free is word free. Were your kids vaccinated at any no, point? No, never. never. And I will never vaccinate regardless of what comes there. I will never, ever, ever vaccinate. My mother's not vaccinated. I say, my, my mother when I was young stopped vaccinated. She stopped vaccinated when I was young. But do you worry really about the way the community is being perceived and some people feel that there's been a bit more anti-Semitism because of it? And, and I let everyone do whatever they want. I know they're not happy with what I do and I'm not happy with what they do. So we all, you know... Do you agree with what the mayor says? Today? That's why. People could be fined if they're not vaccinated. The public health emergency, they want everyone vaccinated. Do you support that? I support it. I agree to it. And I think every single child has to be vaccinated. And 99.99% .99 of ways in the community is vaccinated. And if this 1% comes out, I don't think they have to be the ones speaking out. Because they are a very, very, very small percent. And I'll tell you again, that's most Literally 99.99% .99 children are vaccinated, and if not, they're sent home from school, and they and they are not, and they, they can't come onto the bus, they can't come in. Definitely moving in the right direction. I know for a fact that three of the children in my health class were not immunized, but at the end, by now, I actually spoke to him today in the morning, he said the inspectors are coming again, they're very strong about it, and every single child in his class is staying in class today, he's happy to go on the subject, he has no problem, everyone is very happy. Do you think there's a little hypocrisy from uh, City Hall on regard to uh, pro-choice? The, the mayor always says a mother has a right for, to choose what they want, but in this case not. I'll tell you the truth, I don't have children yet, but my husband's children are my 24 children, and I'm happy that their mother is taking care of them. Sorry, I missed your name. It's Klein. 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 how do you spell Klein? B-L-I-M-I-E. And I will get shots eventually for my children, and I'm happy to say that. How old are you? I am 22. Thank you. Thank you. And your husband is a teacher? Or my husband is a teacher for five-year-old children, and there are more than 3,000 children in this school, and they're taking it very serious. Satmar on White Avenue. And I know that they get fined for this 1% who don't get it. They have to pay it. They don't have a choice. But they send them home every day. And my husband is not allowed to take to even 
take them onto the bus in the morning and he has to send them down. And how many have been sent home so far from your husband's school out of the class? <laughs> Maybe one percent, but I'm not sure. I know that all his students are vaccinated and they're taking it very serious and I'm very happy. Do you know how many? Do you know how many in the school were not uh, uh, came down with the measles? Were there any cases in the yeshiva? Not that I know. In my husband's school, where they're on White Avenue in Williamsburg, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Can you say your name again? Lee Klein. B L I M I E. And I feel that there's people who are saying that they're not immunized in Williamsburg. There are one percent. There really a one percent. Every single ninety-nine point ninety-nine percent in Williamsburg, Rome Orthodox community is immunized. People are taking it very serious, and I'm happy. And your husband is a he's a teacher for four-year-old children, five-year-old children, and every single student in this class is vaccinated. I feel like the truth is not coming out here. And we have doctors, and they are gods. Shlichem, we call them. They tell us what to do. And we should listen to them, and Hashem gives for them the right decisions, and he, gives, he tells them what to do. So the mayor saying everyone should be vaccinated, you agree? It's not it's because the mayor is saying it, and because this is what our doctors are saying, and we know that we have to follow rules from our doctors. They are trained, and Hashem gave them the right decisions. They have the right sort of wise mind what to do with our children. Even if they are going to say in 10 years, I would like to uh, ask the Yechidim, who are considered the anti-vaxxers, uh, as you can see, 99.9% .9 of quality Yisrael, of the community, is vaccinating, is vaccinating against measles. By not doing it, you are just endangering the lives, not only of, of children, but of sick people, pregnant women, people who have cancer. You're endangering those lives, and these, it, it's, not an easy, it's not an easy thing. Don't take it lightly. If you, do want, if you do believe in not vaccinating, go to the boondocks where 50 miles around you, there's no one around you. But don't affect anyone else. Thank you.